Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with RC Groups, joined again by Mike Vassar from Robart. What's happening? Hey, what's going on, Jim? This is our Robart update, and we have discussed airlines, air tanks, and now we're to phase three of the air concept, and that is... You got to get the air in the tanks. So how do you get the air in the tank in your airplane? Okay. Right? So that's the next step here. And once you get the air in, you got to keep the air in the tanks, right? You don't want to pump air in and have it blow right up. <laughs> right. So, so what we're going to be looking at today is part number 168. This is our fill valve and fill chuck. So got let it. me go ahead and go over to my overhead camera here. So the 168, this is the fill valve and fill chuck. And what this will come with is your valve, your chuck, and then the instructions. Go ahead and open this up. And then close my knife. All right. So the, the first thing we're going to talk about real quick is the instructions. So this is, we put in the air valve instructions here on one side, and then the uh, pneumatic installation instructions, which we've shown before, also is on the back side. So that's the, the paperwork that's in there. So uh, I guess I should show you here. Uh, so how you tee this. Actually, you know what? I'll come back to this after. All right. Are these Schrader valves? Yes. There's a Schrader valve inside of here. You see the button? Yep. In, inside here. So we've got our button inside. All right. And then so that you can thread. This is your standard uh, threading like you'd see on a bicycle and whatnot so you can you can put the um, any type of fill pump on here okay also what you've got is our chuck so this has the male portion of the schrader here so simply how this works is airline the robot airline which you talked about so this will this has the this will accept the airline that has the 116th ID, okay? Now, so the is there a barb on there? Do you need to put a clamp? Uh, it's yep. an airline tight enough just to stay on? Let's see if it'll focus. There's This is barbed. It's a brass barb, just like on our brass tees. And okay. so the airline will stay on there. So then you could do your airline to your pump and whatnot, okay? So the chuck gets screwed into the valve, which will push on the Schrader, and now air is allowed to move completely through the air valve, all right? And then now this is the nipple off the back of the valve. This will get go to a T, which will go to your tank. I'll show you that on the instructions here in a second. And then once you're up to 110 PSI, then you, you back up your chuck and then the schrader oh. inside is gonna gonna hold the air in okay okay so for installation in your plane there's a couple different options so we have these bezel nuts on here right so this is designed where a lot of you will install these on the outside of the plane so that you can just plug this in and then you don't have to open up your uh your hatch to get in Otherwise, what you could do is take a piece of plywood and um, and then you can attach it to a piece of plywood inside of the plane. So it would be sitting like this. Oh, let me get my fat fingers out of the way. So it it'd has be to be substantial, though, so you don't break anything. Yeah. And, you know, put that on there. Then you could tighten your bezel nuts onto it. And then you'd have to open your hatch and then you can get your... Uh, chuck onto it okay Got it. so that's the fill valve and fill chuck so let's go back to the instructions real quick and let me zoom in a little bit and so on the instructions we all, we're, we're just going to really just look at the the tri gear set instructions so um you have your tank Coming off of your tank, you've got your airline, and then you're going to have a T right here. That T will airline up to the fill valve. I'm sorry, that's the pressure gauge. It'll come over to your, your valve right here. 
and then there's your chuck so that the air will come in and then fill the system off of the valve. Okay? Okay. All right. Questions? It's a one. So basically, you're installing a one way valve, and the uh, input allows air into your tank. Then, uh, when you disconnect, then everything is actuating the way it's supposed to at that point. Correct. Got it. Correct. Okay. So, what part number 168? You, you can see that um, here 168 fill valve and fill chuck supplied by Robart. And so what we'll do next, like we always do, is head over to the site and we're going to go and don't even tell me I'm going to do it myself. Okay. Gonna go to catalog, air component systems. Yep. Then here's all our stuff, air kits, couplers, valves. So that's obviously a valve. And we'll go there and, and then you can find I all your it, valve. I yeah? apologize. I, you know what? That's a good point. I should put that in the valves also. Oh, Maybe. okay. Let's go back. It I is think in I have the... It, I, I think I have it in my accessories, actually. Air system accessories. Yep, it's in the accessories. Okay, there you go. Part number 168, accessories right there. And you know what I'll do is I'll move that over. Just That's a good point, Jim. I'll do a, a, a quick little change on my site, and I'll have it in the accessories as well as the valves. Awesome. So, All right. All right. Well, there you have the Robart air valve and how to use it what it does and where to find it and uh mike is always running around and taking care of business there in the shop you can always reach him on the phone and that is a, one of the great parts about robart anything else that we need to be aware of we're doing good uh we had a good time at the dayton model rama so i was out there we had the zap booth out there so uh that was really nice seeing everybody who came out to Dayton to see us. So thank you so much for stopping by the booth and uh, um, look forward to you all down the line. All right. This has been the Robart update, updating you on what you can find at Robart. And uh, the URL is of course, robart.com. Thanks Mike for your time and uh, be sure and hit subscribe so you can get our next installment and not only find out what's there, but how to use it. You got it. Bye everybody.